What is going on guys, it's Modded Warfare here. Welcome back to another PS4 tutorial. So in this tutorial, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to get remote play working on your jailbroken PS4. Now, this is something that's really quite simple and it's been out for a couple of weeks now, but you know, a few of you guys have been requesting that I cover this. So normally you can't use remote play just straight off the bat on a jailbroken PS4 because if you go down to remote play settings, it says that you have to be signed into PSN to use uh, that feature. So what you can do is go into IDU mode and apparently if you go into IDU mode you can get it to work that way but IDU mode's not something you should enable typically because it does some pretty messed up things to your PS4 including um, booting you into OMSK and then you have to use a code, a button code on the controller to get out of it and then there's also other things it does like uh, deleting I think your saves and maybe some other stuff on your PS4 so not a good idea so luckily there's a payload now that can enable it for us and it's similar to the web browser patch on you know 4.05 and 4.55 in that once you activate this patch you don't need to activate it every single time you restart the PS4 so once you inject this payload PS4 remote play should be permanently unlocked from now on okay so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go on the internet browser load up our webkit exploit 5.05 .05, and we're going to go to the bin loader of course note down your PlayStation 4's IP address and then we're going to go over to the computer run netcat GUI or any other payload injector for the PS4 you want to make sure you enter your PS4's IP address in the top box change the port number to 9020 and extract ps4 ren 5.05 .05, which again everything you need will be in the description so you'll get exploit and payload we don't need exploit that's only if you're you know you're hosting it yourself on your own you know web kit on your own server we're just going to inject the payload so we're going to open up this folder drag our ps4 ren.bin into the payload file path and now we're good to go so just to show what happens we go ahead and we click inject payload it says done and I guess nothing no notification I was expecting a notification but I'm disappointed now oh well so that's it injected so now that it's injected we can go back on the PS4 press the middle button oh actually I forgot yeah middle button will not work after you inject this payload so just press uh, press the options button and go down to close window and then again options or just back out after that after that with circle so then we go over to settings and down to playstation play connection settings and there we go as you can see it's enabled i should also mention that it's not exactly the same as the web browser patch where you run the payload once and that's it uh, it is in the sense that once you have remote play enabled after running the payload when you next restart your ps4 remote play will stay enabled but you won't be able to get back into the settings menu again to say disable it until you rerun the payload again so you'll still be locked out after a restart of accessing the remote play settings but because you've already turned it on it will stay on uh, so you don't have to run the payload every single time you want to use remote play so i can add a device and then we get our code. Once you've done that, you're gonna head over to the computer and run the PlayStation 4 Remote Play app. That's what I'm gonna use. Obviously, if you're using a mobile device, then your smartphone, download the app on your smartphone, or you know, if you're doing this on PS Vita or a PlayStation TV, then you know, launch that on those devices. But just for an example, I'm gonna use the PC here. So start Remote Play, click Start, and make select register manually and if it asks you for your PSN account details then just go ahead and enter them or uh, you know if you don't have a PlayStation account just create one on PlayStation.net I think it is anyway so then it'll ask for the code that's on screen I mean all this is fairly standard stuff now you know that you would use on any you know the same process you would use on a normal PS4 at this point the only jailbreak thing, the only difference for jailbreak is to, you know, you rerun the payload to allow you to access it. So register 
and there we go connecting to ps4 yep there it is and we are running with remote play on our jailbroken ps4 without being connected to psn you can press escape i'm just using the arrow keys to scroll enter to to enter escape to go back and yeah it works i wonder which one's actually more responsive this or my the latency of my capture card Let's see whoops that's pretty much the same but anyway that is how you get playstation 4 remote play running on your jailbroken ps4 really quick easy tutorial nothing nothing particularly difficult about that so yeah anyway hope you guys enjoyed the video or found the information useful if you did please leave a like and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one